Bame Farm fans. We're back for more action, doing something. At probably a very improper time uh, because of weather. Um, but we have some dry time, so we're doing something to say we tried and hoping for the best. Because that's about as good of a, of a gamble as we can make this year. So what do we have? The bean planter. Haha. -ha. This is not the first beans I've planted. In fact, the first beans I planted, I'll probably end up replanting. Oh, uh, it's July 10th. Uh, this isn't the first time with this July rodeo for beans. I'm not too worried. Although Dad is on the other section of this field. This is what we call the back 40 at home. And uh, we got some silage corn going in back here. That's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. 102 day silage corn going in July 10th. And we'll see what happens. There'll be something growing. So we're back here. Um, 10 rows. I've got the lids off just so I can watch them better as it gets dark. We're going to fire up the LED light bar here soon. We'll take a quick walk around. Marker is marking. Brad did a bunch of disking. Um, I didn't get any video of chisel plow in this. Not all of it needed it, but it sure made it nicer disking. So yep, we're here with the two plus two. Um, oh, another fun addition. Show this off, you know, fix some things and make some things better. We put jack stands instead of using wood blocks. I don't know if we showed that off, but last year when I broke the top link, and transmission cover here in the back on the 1086 um, and we had to trade tractors at the field we had to bring a bunch of blocks well it would have been fantastic if we had these jack stands which I just so happened to pick up at an auction so sometimes I buy something useful that is very important for safety um, I think that's most of the main details I'm bringing one extra bag sometimes one of the row units goes rogue and uh, the seed knockers stick open, which I checked all that. They all move just fine. Put a little bit of drop of oil on all that stuff. Oil chains. If anybody hasn't noticed, all the wheels match now. Uh, we put new wheels on uh, the outside, so they're all the same. Going for that big wheel instead of the small wheel, which it's easier to see the small wheel. What's not easy to see is my marker. Um, that's probably because Brad was just out here disking, so the soil hasn't dried much on top. So there's not a big color difference. So I have my other marker out. Markers run down the tire tracks on this contraption. Uh, so I can kind of check to make sure I'm somewhat close, but it's beans. Um, as long as I'm not leaving three foot gaps, I guess it's not too bad. So let's hop in the tractor. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be a whole lot of machine action right now. I'm sure there's gonna be more bean planting unless it rains a whole bunch because that's what it does. It rains a whole bunch. So my protest, if you haven't noticed, my hair is probably crazy. Working that facial hair look. Oh, let's get back in the AC. Yes. Eh, running high fan. I don't have it all the way up. Don't want to spoil myself. Planting in fourth gear using the ground speed radar. I think it's radar. I don't think it's using the gear in the transmission. And away we go. Let's plan. See if I can follow my marker. Um, almost get up to four miles an hour. I don't know. Maybe I'm not quite used to the two plus two. I usually don't play it with the two plus two. Oh, let's harmless farmer this. Use my foot. See if I can push the throttle up. Come on. Nice guy, harmless farmer. Not to poke fun, but uh, got to be uh, ambidextrous. I, I, I give him lots of credit for doing what he's doing just two feet. Ah, so who can see the marker? Yeah, me neither. Uh, but we can kind of look over there, see that that marker is hovering over the tire track, and we're trying to make a mark on the other side. Oh, what's happening in the world? Well, we're having a little bit of dry time. Um, yeah, I probably won't get my hair cut until planning's done. I just have that protest at a no shave November. No haircut, planting time. Um, but this takes me quite a while to get going. Yeah, um, I got those genes. That, like, rare gene pool in the family. Uh, what's happening behind us? We'll take a look. While I'm looking forward, you can look out the back. The units are a little bobbing up and down. Uh, we got 
two different color seed. You have some of it's treated, some of it's untreated. Uh, trying out a couple different varieties, mixing them together. And hopefully between the two of them, something makes something happen, whether it's wet or dry or purple or 42. Um, for all you guardians, not guardians, for all of you Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans. Not Guardians of the Galaxy. I hate that raccoon. I hate raccoons in general. So yep, that's what's happening back there. Um, if it was lighter and I had more time to fiddle around with the camera, I would set you up on the planner and you could watch that again. Um, if you really want to see the machine in action, we have videos from last year using the 1086 to plant and an 826. Yeah. Using my uncle's tractor. Uh, this spot's annoying. Uh, yeah, I got some cattails there in the middle of the field. That's really annoying. Oh, that's probably less annoying than trying to turn with this thing. I probably should not be planting with the 2 plus 2, so why am I planting with the 2 plus 2? Uh, marker up. Bring that marker up somewhat so we don't pick anything off. I'm planting with the 2 plus 2 because we were spraying corn yesterday, finally. And the sprayer is still at the field. We decided to go for big push. This is why I hit the 2 plus 2. So in order to make my marker mark right there, I'm not going to be able to swing that without having like four headlands. And I got tired of making headlands at 2. Because usually I don't need more than two headlands planting beans. So uh, we're just going to back it up. Back, back it up. Drive over the headlands a bunch. Readjusting ourselves. Let's see, let's put that marker down and float. Hmm. That was the wrong lever. I hit the response lever, which didn't do much, but we want fast response because I want to be able to pick this thing up. We're not hitting the marker very well, but it's down. Good thing we're uh, far away from the road. Now the next next pass we'll be able to go all the way to the road. Uh, we've got beans on for a solid seven acres, maybe eight. Maybe eight acres. It's a, it's a solid seven. So yes, now why are we planting beans June 10th? I don't know, it rained and rained and rained. And if anybody has remembered in years past, we've planted beans this late before. Unfortunately, it's been, I don't, we got, I don't want to say we have too much going on, but with the vegetables, the greenhouse, feeding cattle, and right now we're green chopping, so every, every other day, every third day, that shoots an hour plus to go chop. Plus, by the time you you know you wheelbarrow it out, and someone's gonna say, "Why don't you do the barn this way?" I have got plenty of time on the tractor. I have thought about a lot, a lot, plenty of seat time to think and plan. And what I've come down to my plan is, uh, I got to win the lottery for all the stuff I want to do to improve stuff because I don't know if I can get you know that many dollars in a loan from any bank. Um, in general, to have a setup how I how would be more efficient to say pull the wagon through the barn. Because while it's easy to say, yeah, just cut the hole out the end of that barn, the barn needs more than just that. <clears throat> and I'm not going to go on the laundry list of things that I need to fix. I am very well aware of there's a long list. And oh, I guess the biggest thing I've learned so far is that I've got a propensity for projects way beyond my ability to complete them. So I'm overly optimistic on what I can get done in a day. I need like 30 hours in a day and only sleep for negative five of those. Yes, isn't it, isn't it exciting looking at the front here not being able to see the marker? I'm sorry. But I'm trying to keep the camera close, get different views while I yammer on. Well, find out how much seven acres is. I didn't do a full headland all the way around this area. This field has a bunch of little nooks and crannies and places. You now at like the back of my hand, I could probably, you know, disc it or chisel plow it in my sleep. There's all sorts of fun stuff because you get away from the road. You really get, we'll say, secluded back here, away from civilization with all these trees. <coughs> uh, 
which field edge. That's a real killer at times because there's trees everywhere. Always lots of field edge. And how does that work into the game plan? The wood chipper. Now that's probably gonna take me 20 years of chipping wood for two weeks in the winter, hopefully in the winter, but that's along with fixing all the other stuff I have planned to fix. Oh boy, I've yammered on a lot, haven't I? Well, at least talking to the camera beats talking to myself totally. Going insane from all this rain. What's happening back there? Oh yes, we're gonna make the rows a little shorter. We're gonna finish this little nook out. Oh, we're gonna plant, plant, plant. And at least back here, I don't have to worry about resetting for the next headland. I can pretty much almost skip a pass. If the markers were wide enough, I would almost consider doing that and just lay both markers out so I'm running the other marker over the previous marker pass. But since we have the marker set up for tires, I'm not gonna do that very well. That's the nice thing about beans, room for error. Like overlap, and where is the marker? Holy cow. Ah, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap there. Those beans will have room to branch out. Nothing like a quick little short section of 30 inch beans, then they're gonna go down to six and probably overlap, and hopefully in the next pass or two, I'll have this straightened out. Okay, well, it's getting dark. Who knows how much you can see. You've heard me talk a while. Hope you enjoyed this little talk. And, uh, well, I'm just gonna keep on putting seed in the ground and uh, lots of prayers that uh, the late summer and early fall is more like Indian summer. It stays warm, keeps things growing. I mean, yay for global warming, right? I mean, that, that should mean we're gonna have some extra heat then. Or we'll just have a bunch of hurricanes. I don't know. But I could go into talking. At one point, I was reading weather reports all the time to try to figure out, like, long-term, why it was raining so much. Um, and uh, maybe we'll have a weak hurricane season because I heard uh, one tidbit about dust blowing off the Sahara abnormally, I don't know, early or in lots of quantity over the Atlantic to slow that, um, slow the hurricanes uh, by some shading. Yes, the dust will shade the ocean, keeping it cool, such that uh, you know can't accumulate heat to get all churned up and rainy. Who knows if there's much truth to that? This was back in earlier in June. Ooh, how much seeds left? There's still some back there. So maybe there'll be a weak hurricane season. Hey, if we can see the light over in the distance, there's Dad planting. He'll probably plant his 10 acres or so before I get 30 acres planted. He has to refill more often than I do, but I think my refill takes longer, having to move more seed. Fertilizers, we'll say, fairly basic. Got the bag open, dump it in. I'm too busy worrying about mixing seed and how much I put in which rows. The seed we have more confidence in is the treated seed, and that is in the two outside rows and then the rows next to the tire tracks. So we'll say the tight rows have a bit of a mix or slightly more of the untreated seed. That way, in case they don't germinate well, um, the, hopefully the other rows will branch out and cover over them a little bit. Let's see, there goes the neighbor creeping by, seeing what we're doing. I think that's the neighbor. At least they're going slow. So many people go up and down this little road too fast. Mmm, <coughs> cool air. This is pretty nice. Yeah, it's, it's not, I'm not freezing myself out, but it's pleasant. It's pleasant. Okay, so I'm yammering on. I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll wrap this up. This is going to be a very quick video to edit, I guess, because it's just going to be me talking while planting. 
hope this goes well for everybody. We have a good turnaround of this growing season and everything just takes off, grows fast, grows well, grows speedy. spot with the cattails. Er boy. I don't know how we're gonna explain that one. It's beans, room for air, right? Okay, well happy farming. I'll catch you guys later with more fun or slightly stressful farming action.